All right, hey everybody. Um, I'm just gonna post a short vid of knowing when to change your shock fluid. Cause a lot of people don't know that your shock fluid can get dirty inside of a sealed shock. I mean, if you're running at the track, you know, in your driveway, you know, any place where there's dirt or gravel or sand or something, eventually they're gonna get some of that inside them. And to know when that is happening, um, like my front shocks are clean, I've wiped them, I've cleaned them, I've changed the fluid in them. If you don't know how to change the fluid in your shocks, check out some of my other videos. I have a video on changing shock fluid. But if you listen with the front shocks, you don't hear nothing when they move. With the back shocks, you push down. you kind of hear a scratchy squeaking noise. That's not the fluid moving moving in and out. That's micro little mini pieces of dirt. Either sand or gravel. Something that's in your shock. And you need to clean that out otherwise it will start to wear down on your shock shafts. If you don't know what that is it's the little shiny metal piece that runs in and out of your shock inside of the spring but other than that I mean that's just pretty much what you need to know when to change your shock fluid when it just starts kinda squeaking and you know if you're not changing out weight in that I mean, you, don't, you only need to change this probably depending on what you're running your car in I mean I usually do mine every month even if it's not squeaking just cause it's a good thing to do and a bottle of shock fluid, it's like three, four bucks. So it's not expensive. It doesn't take long to do. But it's good to do that because it makes your shocks last longer, your car react better. It just helps everything work better. So thanks for watching.